What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 50 of Halfway to the Premier League. I can't believe we've made it all the way to episode 50. And the fact that this match is the playoffs. The playoffs for the Skrill South to get into the Premier. Obviously of the Skrill Premier, but nevertheless still incredibly high. Okay, so we're going to go straight into this match. We've switched McKins to a false number 9. McGeorge is a shadow striker because of his finishing. And this is the match. This is the most important match of our history so far. I've said that before, but it keeps on getting bigger because we keep on going from step to step, up and up and up. So this is the first leg. We are playing at home for the first leg. Hopefully we can get... Um, take advantage of this nice home um, advantage, I guess. Take advantage of... Yeah, okay, fine. And, yeah, win this match. We need to definitely win. I mean, a loss with little goal difference, um, so like a 1-0 loss is not too bad. I can handle that. A draw, even. But seeing as we're at home, great. Boreham Wood, go 1-0 up. Clark, right, I'm going to stop talking about what I want, because obviously I want to win, and that is obvious. I'm going to focus on the match. So, Clark has already scored someone that I have highlighted before the match in my head as someone that really needs to be marked. Sorry I didn't look at any um, introduction to the match. I will definitely do that if I get to the final. Um, but right now... Although it's an incredibly important match, it is just a small stepping stone to the bigger match, which is the playoff final. Whether we get there or not, it remains to be seen. Um, especially how we've started this match. We have not started at all. Uh, we've been extremely sluggish. We have a lot of possession right now. I don't ever see it coming back, though. Musto, come on. Sorry, I don't ever see it coming into, like prominence and meaning that we actually score a goal from it that is the problem with Hartford's play at the moment we have a lot of possession but not a lot of converted chances another chance for them there's only one outcome and it's the side netting so fairly happy that they didn't score a sitter there Walker from the left hand side Bell Walker again McKinn Scott get in Scott pegs him straight back well not straight back it's like 40 minutes or 30 minutes after but nevertheless it's 1-0 um, we'll probably go into the half at 1-0, which would be very nice to see, unless Boren would instantly get a goal back. Oh god, Clark is throwing goal. He sails. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna, Why was I going to say Clark sails? That's just stupid. Okay, it's half time, guys. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are we going to keep it how it is? I think we should. Um, go out there and give these fans their money worth. Whatever. <coughs> Why would you be stressed after I told you that? It's the playoff final. Why a, a playoff semi-final? Okay, come on. Come on. Good interception. Very nice interception from Walker there. They have a ball straight into the box. Side netting only. Fortunately for us. Come on, Hartford. We have a lot of possession, as you can tell by the bottom bar. But Clark is on fire today oh my days what a save from booth there good uh seeing out the ball from roach meant that it went for a goal kick and not a corner another chance as well muggleton just keeps on whipping them into the box can we intercept it can we weather the storm as football manager would say a lot of pressure from ball and wood on to hartford what is this though is this going to be their highlight or ours it might be ours McKins to, B to Bell. Come on, Miller. Don't pass it to the defence. They don't do anything with it. Marsden, play it to Bell now. To Scott, come on. Bell, Scott, Bell, come on. Somebody just have a shooting chance. That would be so nice. Miller, good interceptions, but again, nothing comes of it. Quite a poor highlight, to be honest. That is not really key, is it? <coughs> Clark. Up front by himself, plays it back to Mitchell. Mitchell to Allen. Good save though from Booth. Goes for the corner. Booth needs to be on form today. He needs to come up very key for our club. Okay, ball's gone out of play. Should be the end of the highlight, I want to say. Yes, it is. So can we take advantage of some of this pressure? Can we push them back to their goal? 
make them lose a ball from a corner. No, we can't because Clark easily heads it down for his player. Passes back to him though. Allen on the right-hand side. Another shot into the side netting. If they keep on having shots, keep on snatching at shots, I'll be very happy. Um, but it w one of them will go in. They've already scored so far today. We're going to make a substitution though. Definitely. Um... Anthony Watson isn't having the best of games, so we're going to bring on Adam Griffiths on the right instead of him. Um, Seamus McGeorge is also not playing very well. So I still don't really... I think he's still better. Spencer Ben is going to come on. <coughs> so we made two changes in the 77th minute. Can we nick the victory? We have been under a lot of pressure the whole match. Most of the highlights have been boring wood, but we've still had that large percentage of possession. Um... Which is a, it's a positive thing, obviously. But if it doesn't result in anything, it doesn't really matter. George steals a the ball there, but unfortunately they get it back. Can we pressure them down? Allen with the chance. Good save, though, from Booth. Um, he has been a, a massive threat. Does need to start being marked down if he's not already. Mesto plays the ball into the box. Nobody really responded to that. That looked like a some sort of a testing a free kick, but nobody responded to it. Bennett, though, with the chance... Loses the ball. Why are we playing it in the air? We need to play it on the ground because they have better players in the air than we do. Okay, come on, close him down. Don't let him cross him in. Clark with the chance. He scores in the 83rd minute. Shit defending from Hartford. Really bad defending. I'm not sure what happened there. There were four in the box, box against Clark, but somehow he was able to get the ball past them. A poor deflection off somebody, and Clark easily slots it in, which means that Boreham would actually win this match 2 1. Um, disappointing, very disappointing um, there were a lot of positives that's the thing, we do need to remain positive for the next match as they don't think so, they didn't think so they absolutely destroyed us absolutely destroyed us, 63% possession, but in terms of shots shots on target, they absolutely destroyed us Okay, so we're going to go to the next match and possibly skip ahead. I'm not sure yet. Depends how long the processing is going to be, but I'll speak to you guys in the meantime. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. As, as you would have known, this is the 50th episode. Pretty incredible to get to 50 episodes, I've got to be honest. Did not expect any series on this channel to get to 50 episodes. And I must admit, it might be the end of it. I'm getting quite bored of lower league management. Um... It's something that I do a lot, and considering this is the sixth season, it's a long time to put into one save. Um, a lot of people might not have six season saves. They might win the league with a team and then just move on, which is hopefully what I am going to do in my new Leon save, which I've started up. If you haven't seen that, then that'd be awesome. If you could go check it out, it'll be on my channel, probably my feature video, um, considering it's a new series. But yeah, that should be quite nice. Um, the challenge is to win the league with Leon, a team not expected to win the league, against teams like PSG, Monaco, Marseille. Um, and yeah, just win the league in the first season. If I don't, I'll move on, go to another club, try and win the league there, um, or just start an entire save, a brand new save, and see what we can do. But this is an important match. We do need to win this match. Um... Not sure what's going to happen. I can't really predict anything, especially after losing at home. Uh, not that being at home has really led to many more victories other than being away. We have gone through patches where we've had ridiculously good home form and equally ridiculously good away form. Um, but then at the same time, very bad home form and very bad away form. So... We've had a very mixed season. I've been extremely lucky, I think, to get into the playoffs. Very, very surprised to get into the playoffs. So if we don't win, it's not a massive deal. But I would like to get to that playoff final. Um, go to a big stadium, get a nice big crowd, play some dramatic music in the background, and just see how we do. Um, but Boreham Woods stand in our way. Uh, after winning 2-1 in the first leg, it could prove to be a stumbling block, but all we need is probably one goal. I want to say, it, actually, if it's away goals, then we probably need two goals. If we win 2-0, we're pretty much sorted, and we can do that. I'm not sure what our result was against Boreham Wood when we beat them, but we've beaten them before. We can do it. 
We will do it. That's what I want to say. I have faith in Hartford to do this. Um, just take a quick drink there so that my throat doesn't completely seize up. My mouth is extremely dry, so I'm sorry if uh, it's a bit, if I sound a bit ill, because I kind of am a little bit, but what are you going to do? Okay, so in the Haven and Waterlooville and Dover match, um, they actually beat Dover 3-1 in that match. So a bigger advantage uh, for Dover. I mean, Haven and Waterlooville, but we're going to go into this next match. Um, obviously against Boreham Wood. This time though, we're going to go for the away. Mm, actually, no, no, we're going to keep the home tactics. And we're going to risk it. We are going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Because we're losing 2-1 um, in terms of the legs. And we do need to challenge them. They are favourites to win again. George Clark is going to be marked down a lot. Hard tackling. Sean to weaker foot. Okay? Because he is incredibly influential for them. Uh, and we don't want him to score more goals against us. Fans to be a fantastic all season, go out there and impress them, even though we're away, which is a bit stupid. It's like um, when you're at an away stadium and the commentary in the bottom says half the ground thought it was in. And it's like, I understand that still, but then that's kind of like hinting that half the ground cheered to think it was in. And then it wouldn't be half the ground because it's away. It's just tiny things like that that other people might not care about, but... It's just it's just a little bit of authentic, authenticity and like realism that is sometimes lacking a little bit of football manager. Like considering how much they try so hard to make it realistic, it seems quite minor, um, but still something that they could potentially add or improve on at least. Nothing has happened so far, but now that I say that, someone's going to score. Good save. Good save from Booth, actually. A very nice collection. Um, luckily, he wasn't completely... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying now. Don't worry. So we're going to mark George Clark a little bit more. Alan scores, though. Someone that isn't George Clark. Ethan, yeah, Alan. So, yeah. We're 1-0 down already. 30 minutes gone. This match does not go well. I mean, Clark with the chance. Terrible pass from Walker to Marsden. Don't know what Marsden's doing backtracking that much anyways. Oh, dear. I can't see us winning this. I have to be honest. I'm 100% honest right now. I do not see us doing anything from this match. Um, well, I don't even know like what I want to do in this match. As in, I don't know what kind of tactic I want to play, whether I want to stay attacking. We're just so bad. <laughs> so I'm going to yell at them a little bit at half-time. Hopefully they actually do. Oh, fine, no pressure, whatever. And I hope that actually does something. I don't think it will, but... Right now, we would do anything to make sure they actually try a little bit harder because they don't really do anything. If you put the effort in, then... Like, we can beat them. So, I don't know why we're struggling so much to beat them. What's a no poor pass giving the ball away? It's not what I want to see. It's just lazy. Pinnock has a pop. That was it, though. Hit the side netting, and that was the end of the attack for Boreham Wood. I just want to get a consolation goal, try, and a, just have a bit, mi a bit more attacking. Um... Oh, Scott should have scored. That's so bad. How did you miss that? It was like an open goal. That's what I mean. Just send... Like, we have so many... Well, not so many chances, but the chances we have, they're easily... Like, they're just missed. And they could easily be scored. Marsden, Bennett, Scott down the left flank, plays it to McGeorge. Does not play Watson in. All you had to do was fucking lift it. Seriously. They're just retarded. Like, 
I'm watching this and I could tell them what to do. And I've, what, I've played, like, extremely amateur football at the age of, like, 18. It's just, oh, it's just stupid. Right, Booth loses the ball. Clark will probably score now. Why Booth didn't just completely sprint back to his goal, I don't know. Decided to stick it out in the position he was in, which was stupid. Because he was, I think he was outside the box. So it's not like he'd be able to save it, even if he was in the right position. Um, luckily, though, Clark doesn't get anything on it. And doesn't score so it's the 69th minute we're going to make some changes because this is pretty depressing uh spencer bennett is better than neil mckins no matter what performance mckins is playing at hammond re will replace mckins and sean bottomley will replace anthony watson because he has been terrible this season i'm so sick of my squad every single player i'm just angry with mcgeorge isn't even playing very well and he's our key player Norman Bell doesn't play very well. Marsden doesn't play very well. Booth doesn't play very well. Masto plays terribly. I'm very, very tired of this save, I must admit. I know it's a 50th episode and we should rejoice. We should be happy. Not rejoice, that just sounds a bit too holy. But we should be uh, enjoying this. And I am, for the most part. I am, for the most part, enjoying this series and how it's going. Unfortunately, though, there's just... We need to score. Thank you. Thank you. Right. We just need to move out of these crappy stages. I mean, down in the lower leagues, it was fine. Like, much lower leagues because you could just sign any player on a free. And they could be decent. They could be a decent player. But now, it's we're challenged with keeping the decent players um, and signing new ones to send us up. And... The new ones are very difficult and very sparse. Um, there's not many of them because they cost money, first of all, which we don't have. They cost wages, which we don't have. Uh, much higher wages than we've ever normally needed to pay. Um, it's difficult to sign someone on a part contract. To be honest, we need to go professional. Um, but then that would mean signing everybody on a full-term contract. And that's just more money. Um, our finances are okay at the moment. They're struggling. They're recovering a little bit. Killock with a chance. For some reason, Booth is running out. Um, I think he's going forward. I'm not sure what for. But he went forward there. Um, if we get a goal, we're right in it. And I don't think we will. This is what I mean. There's no passion in our squad. Nothing. Like, we're 20 seconds and they've just got the ball. Why are we not having last-ditch tackles? Like, passing back to the keeper with 20 seconds to go. That is not a football brain. And booting it fucking out from there. That's it, guys. We got the draw, but the players were absolutely terrible. Um, we're going to say unlucky because otherwise they'll probably kill themselves. Like, I'm going to do now. I'm just kidding, but wow. Oh, so that's going to be it, guys. We did not have the dream playoff final that we wanted. There's no dramatic music, no momentous music. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, whether I carry on this series, it really remains to be seen. If you guys want me to con continue the series, then please let me know. Right now, it's not going to happen. I've got to be honest. If, if you guys um, tell me in the comments and say that you want this to continue then I will but it's just it's difficult it's not that we've just lost the playoffs it's the fact that it's going to be the same money the same transfers the same players over and over again for the same season if we can get some players I'll probably what I'll do I'll probably do the transfers for the summer if I can get anybody if I can have a good start to the season I will show you guys okay it won't be as regular won't be as often the Leon save will probably start taking over now on my channel but it will still be there potentially, depending on if we get some sort of uh, decent transfers in and some players that I'm happy with. But unfortunately, we did not get promoted this season. We didn't get into the playoff final. We not crashed out. We performed okay in the second match, getting a draw away at Borenwood. We probably should have won our home match against Borenwood. But that's going to be it, guys. If you did enjoy, then obviously let me know um, if you want me to carry on the series. And if you like this episode, drop it a like. And that'll be it. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in another video. Bye.